Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our Pokemon Rejuvenation Intense Mode No Items Let's Play. And this is part 20 of the Let's Play, just to let you guys know. Uh, so yeah, uh, real quick to update you guys on a few things. I have decided not to do the Help Center request uh, just yet, simply because I kind of made a mistake. I had to get a little bit farther within the story in order for the one ranger to kind of move out of the way down here so I did not get the Venusaur just yet but I still plan to do that off cam unless for whatever reason somebody wants me to do it on video. Uh, so yeah the only one I will do is of course the Nove battle but I brought that up uh, last episode. Uh, so yeah uh, next up is going to be the three Pokemon I did capture. And that is Growlithe, Sharpedo, and Oranguru. So I'm going to go through the EVs and IVs that I've uh, gotten. So yeah. Uh, anyways, we have Oranguru. I decided to make him more of a defensive um, Oranguru. I could have maybe split it with like more defensive but a little bit in special defense. But I don't know. I just wanted a bold nature one. I just wanted one that can just eat up physical hits. Um... Its main purpose is to guarantee a battle. If I'm not mistaken, I did use this guy on the last um, intense mode game that I played through, but that was back in like V12. Um, it did very good for me still, so I'm going to assume that it still does well uh, for V13 as well. Maybe not, but we will see how that goes. Oh yeah, by the way, I know uh, some of you may be wondering why I didn't de-level it to get uh, Trick Room. I don't know if Terajuma is bugged. I had a commenter brought this up as well that they also had issues with Terajuma. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to assume somewhere in Terajuma there's just this weird bug. Because I had to redo the entire Dragonite thing off camera. Um, and I'm more than certain I saved after I did all that. Unless I'm blind. Um, even with the Citrus Berry like disappearing as well, that was very weird. Um... What was it? I even had an incident that um, I think I lost to some battle or something. I, I forgot what it was. Um, this was before the Valerie battle. I decided not to talk about it because it didn't really matter. Um, all my Pokemon went down to level 40 on my team. And for whatever reason, one of the two Quagsires that I got disappeared. Like, just gone. So I had to go through an old save file to get him back. And keep everybody at level 45 it really sucked but yeah pretty much just a heads up just be careful when you are around here I don't know what it is about Terajuma I don't know if they may fix it or not but yeah just a heads up for you guys um, so yeah be careful uh, but yeah since I'm not able to get a trick room unless I'm making a mistake on that end I will have to wait until I can go to Chris Lane Town do the help center request and trade in a hard scale to get a uh, trick room, which that's all going to be before the Garatina battle anyway, so we should be okay on that. Next up is Sharpedo, decent move pull there. Um, I don't know if I can use a hard scale to get Destiny Bond. If I can, I probably will get Destiny Bond on this guy since, I mean, it's a very good move and I think Destiny Bond would be very useful in intense mode and last but not least we got roku here um the growlithe uh, naughty nature i will change that at some given point um same with this guy you may have noticed that it is a bold nature one uh don't worry i will change it when i want to so don't worry about it i, I know it's not the right nature but again i, I could change that at any given point uh, and same with this guy uh, this one I decided to go for a more bulky offensive one. Sure, I could have gotten for or gone for a defensive or specially defensive one, but I just wanted a bulky attacker and I could have gone for a speed investment one as well, but as you can see, the eight um, IVs and speed, it just wasn't really worth it to me. And plus for uh, whatever reason, it took me forever to get a decent IV. Um, Growlithe so when I saw that one I was just like I'm done I'm not looking again so uh, yeah 
Also, real quick, I looked down here on my own time. I don't know if this was actually a thing or not. Is this new or has this always been here? If so, this is actually my first time seeing all of this, so this is pretty cool. Um, I decided to kind of just show you guys this just in case if any of you uh, may have missed it. It's pretty cool. Uh, can I teach anybody rock smash that I want to learn that? No. Um, I guess let me pause and get a Pokemon and come back here. I'm kind of curious on the um, HM. Give me a second. Alright, so let's check this one out. Ooh, that might be useful. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh wait, can I just go up here? I'm so stupid. I went the long way. That's okay. That's okay. So let's swap out you for Houndoom. And we will continue on. I would like to this episode to finish the uh, Ren battle, go through all of that, and probably honestly get the um, puzzle for Crawley's Gym done, and then next episode we will uh, spend a little bit battling uh, Crawley. Uh, so this way leads to the fire tri for the fire to the fire trial. Sorry. So, I was kind of wondering where Adam was, I think, last episode. He was actually just over there, so... There you go. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, citrus berries. I became a farmer, and I have 108 citrus berries. I think this will hold me over for quite a while, so, um... Yeah. Okay, now we can continue on. And if I need to, I can get more in the future, but I think 108 is a decent amount for the time being. But I'm sure I am probably going to use them quite a bit, and I will have to farm in the future, but we'll get there when we get there. Anyways, hey Arrow, are you ready to start? I don't think everyone else is ready, they're kind of doing their own thing. I know this is really silly considering the position we're in, but do you think you and I could take a small walk? It'll be real quick, I promise. I just want to clear my head for a bit. Hmm, these warp pads still seem to be broken. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, sorry, we're still trying to find a solution to this whole mess. I didn't really want to go too far anyways, so I guess this is fine. Let's go Arrow. Wait, did I say Aereo earlier? If I did, sorry, Arrow. I gotta remember that, unless I... I don't remember. A Arrow. Anyways, it's nice getting to talk to someone I know, even though considering... Actually, let me slow down for this, because, like, what's really cool, I'm sure people have noticed before that, like, like, her face kind of, like, changes slowly but surely. It, I gotta say, like, the sprite animation, if that's the right way to word it, they've done a very good job with this game. Like, it is a very good job. Um, I'm sure it's not that easy to do. I... I don't know anything about sprite making and all that, but I'm sure it takes quite a bit of talent and effort and time to, you know, do it and all that, so uh, good on them for taking the time to do that. It really does, um, I guess, I'll, what's the right way to put it? It adds a lot more to the character, maybe is the right word to word it. You get the point. Anyways, even though considering everything we've been through, we don't know that much about each other. But truthfully, I don't really think that matters. As long as we're together, it's okay. And I know I should open up more to you and the others, but I don't think it's appropriate to do that yet. If I don't keep a line between people, I feel like I won't be taken seriously. I have a tendency to overthink situations, so this may be one of those cases. But then there are moments where I feel like I don't think enough. I should be I should have been more of a leader and realized that something was up with Nim and that's the thing I knew I knew something was wrong but I pushed us forward the one time I try to put my thoughts away it bites me ever since that day everything's been everything's been so difficult what am I supposed to do why am I even in this situation to begin with should have would have could have Oh, Alita, I was just... I was just... It's okay to cry, you know. We're all human. I know it's just that. Anyways, what was that you said? 
Oh, that's a statement my dad used to tell me a lot. Whenever I cried about something, he used to repeat that over and over. It was pretty obnoxious, and in hindsight, it was still obnoxious, but I get the intent behind his words. There's no use dwelling on the past, you can't change what happened. The best thing you could do is look towards the future and become a better person. After all, life's all about growth and experience, so don't let your grief pull you down. Alita, thank you. Don't thank me. Thank the eldest, she taught me these things. I'll keep her words in my heart, I won't give up, I promise. It's a promise between friends then. Friends? We're friends? Uh, yeah, like the thing that we all are. It's not just me who thinks that way. Val, Braxton, Adam, and even Saki see you as our friend. I see, I guess I was just thinking things yet again. Overthinking things yet again, sorry. Alright, fine. It's a promise between friends then. Oof. Alright. We should probably head back now. I'm sure the others are waiting for us to be ready. Yep, I hate meeting, so let's get this over with. Alright, I guess we could speed up now. I'm kind of curious if they change uh, some stuff with the Terajuma situation. I'm going to say no, but maybe a few texts and a few scenes probably. But I don't see them like rechanging the entire story into something else. I know they've done that with like a few areas, like the mansion with the... I guess forest kind of growing on top of Giran uh, City and all that, but there's been a few changes in story and all that, but I don't see anything drastic like that with this uh, with this part. I guess we'll just have to see. Anyways, Alex and Sam, I was wondering where you two ended up. The same could be said in reverse. Yeah, we were really worried when you guys didn't come through the trans to piss through the transporter starting. Sorry, I can't speak. The teleport pads went off went offline the moment you two went through them. It's like you two used up the rest of the pads, energy, or something. Yeah, sorry about that. Things like that happen sometimes. Alright, you two, time to get on with your mission. We need those transporters up as soon as possible. Roger that. Please excuse us. Alright, let's get to it. What can I do for you lovely people today? There's a lot to unpack here. Basically, our friend Saki was catapulted into the jungle and we're looking for her. Also, Team Zen is on the island and they have our friend Nim. They took her on Valor Mountain and we need help getting there. Plain and simple. This is one of the reasons why I love Adam so much is he's just straight to the point not going the long way or anything like that just again plain and simple anyways uh well yeah that's basically it that was rude adam never interrupt a lady short and quick and to the point i like that but i understand i'll have alex and sam look for saki once they're free as for team zen that's a slightly bigger issue team zen has left terajuma island alone up until now it's a bit of a mystery to me why they would want to poke their heads out now. That being said, if entrance to Valor Mountain is all you need, then that's no problem. Right now, I have a ranger deployed on Route 5 to block access, but I'll give them a call. I was actually hoping you'd come with us. The more power we have, the higher chance of success we have. Unfortunately, I have my hands tied with another issue. I don't suppose you all heard of Angie. Oh yeah, that's the tyrant Alex was going off about before. She told us all about her and how she sent the Carnivine to the jungle to cause trouble. Allegedly, of course, I don't want to get sued here. Angie's been giving me a lot of headaches lately. I've sent a handful of rangers her way to discuss terms, but none of them have ever came back. So before I deal with this Team Zen business, I have to make sure the people of Kakuri are safe. I also have to make sure my rangers are okay and well, so... No, it's okay. I understand. We'll deal with it ourselves. A hey, Crawley, I have returned to the island of sweat, blood, and beauty. Interesting words, but okay. Uh, Dad, what are you doing back so early from your tour? 
Flora Island is great, but I was becoming a bit homesick, so I decided to come home at least for a little while. I see. Sorry, but I have guests here right now. Oh, honey, forgive the interruption. Is that Arrow? What are the chances I meet you here, darling? You know about Arrow. We've talked once or twice. We are bonded by spirit. Oof. Uh, what's going on? What's with the tremors? Don't worry, darlings. That's just Valor Mountain, the proclaimed god of Terajuma Island. When someone enters Valor Mountain and interacts with the crystals there, the mood of the mountain changes completely. That would be the cause of these nasty tremors, which means you all were right on the money about Team Zen. They're making their way through the mountain as we speak. Or perhaps they already conquered it and are changing it to meet their needs. Either way, we need to make our way over there right away. Let's move, guys. So I guess we're just gonna head on over there. Actually, let's talk to her. Has the blizzard let up any? I don't think so, or I don't think it has. We haven't heard anything from the rangers either. That's concerning. Oh wait, there's that Zeta battle, right? I might need a different team for Zeta. Yeah, actually, let me do that, because this team was meant for Gira. I don't think people really care if I look up the team for Zeta. It's just, I don't want to go in, like, blind and then have to, like, come back to redo the team. If people mind, I, I guess I could stop, but I don't think people really care. Let me look up the team real quick. Alright, sorry for the pause. So he has a Staraptor, Lucario... Ooh, and it's a assault vest star raptor very very interesting um wait why does it show it as level 70s or what wait why is it level 70 oh that's i'm dumb ignore me I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, Weavile, Absol, Hitmonlee, Dragonair. I thought it'd be a Dragonite. Unintense. I guess not. Uh, Zepto and Typhlosion. Okay. Um. Weavile is going to be annoying. Uh, let me go through the team. Or let me look through my Pokemon real quick to kind of decide what I want to bring. Uh, give me a second. Alright, so here's the team that I have decided. I didn't really change much. I think only like one Pokemon. Um, I did change the abilities real quick on a couple. I have Flash Fire on you and I have uh, Thick uh, Fat on you. Uh, so yeah, for the Weavile. So, uh, wait, what nature are you? Oh, never mind. I thought it was like speed for a moment. I was like, wait a minute, why the hell is it a speed nature one? Okay, so let's continue on here. Okay, red shard. Uh, give me a second. Alright, sorry for the pause there. Uh, got through all the rangers there. I'm an idiot. Alright, sorry about that. I totally forgot about uh, Surf, so uh, we're gonna bring this guy instead of Houndoom. Um, I guess it kind of works out because having two dark types, I was a little, a little bit worried about the um, the Hitmon Lee, to be honest. But now I'm a little bit scared of Typhlosion. So, yeah, because I was going to use the Houndoom to um, kind of make it a little bit useless against it. Um, so, yeah. I thought you were supposed to be on top of the mountain. It's polite of you to surrender yourself to us. Hey, don't get used to it. I just wanted to see how the crew was. But we're doing just fine, no thanks to you. Really quivering in my boots here, Braxton. How are you even talking anyways? Zeta, you didn't come down here for petty talk and cheap insults. What are you doing here? Man, you kids today are so impatient. It pisses me off seeing how entitled you all are. But I guess that impatientness makes a lot of sense in a way. I feel like I read that wrong. That's okay. Now I know where I got it from. What are you talking about? No more time for talk. Come get me. Feel my flames. It kind of sucks at the same time as like... 
It'd be great if like all of us actually just beat up Zeta here and just kind of like got it over with, you know, but that's okay. Now let's go for a vital throw. We should be fine. That did a lot more than I thought it would have. That's okay. Hits. Um, I'm going to knock off. Oh, I hate Pokemon. I don't know if that mattered, but why do I feel like that mattered? And maybe, maybe it did it. Maybe it didn't. Let's go into you though. Lower your attack. My Volt Switch. Um, I'm gonna go for damage though. I. Okay, so as I'm going to, of course, redo that because of the two crits. Um, going down this route, I actually found a Remoraid, so with the Mantike that I did capture, if any of you were curious, this is where you get Remoraid. I feel like Remoraid is going to be stupid good against Crawly, so let's capture you for that battle. Okay, do that. Save here. Alright, let's try that again. Because that was pretty annoying. I, I don't know if the close combat matter on the Hariyama, that is questionable, but with the Luxray that totally mattered because we got a, um, whatchamacallit, a special, um, a, um, not special, a physical, um, drop in. Wait, what did it do? Did it fake out? Hold up, let me redo that. Alright, I'm dumb. Uh, third attempt, um, I forgot the fake out. That's what it was. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, uh, so it... Oh, uh, so it's just getting lucky then with flinches then. So, yeah, let me redo that. Alright, so I finally got a game that did flinch me another time, so... I finally got a game that did not flinch. Um, okay. So, let me think. I feel like Hariyama could still be useful. I'm going to intimidate drop it. And this, I don't get it. Like, I don't know if it's the terrain. It, it might be actually the terrain because of um, Reborn Leader. Um, I forgot her name. I don't know if the field makes it that they get more crits, but it, it's one of those things. I know in Burden it raises speed by using an item, so it's not like that, but like... Again, it, it's like, what am I supposed to do against a crit? And like, it, it's not really necessarily like I'm struggling. I mean, to be fair, yes, but it's like... I mean, like, I'm gonna have to redo it, so it's like, unless like I have a fair shot, then like, I don't want to do this game. Um when I get critted like that, but let's just, you know, let's just try it. We'll try it, see how it goes. So you're just always going to get a crit. Is this the game we're playing? What is it? Wait, what? Okay, hold up. Why are you always getting a crit? Am I missing something? It has to be the field, right? If it's the field, then, like, that's really annoying the amount of times, because, like, it's gotten a crit, what, like, three times in a row? What does Unburden do again? I believe it's when it uses a held item, its speed goes up, like, by a ton. Right? Yeah, I got that right. So, why is it critting so many times? Or is it some sort of item? I, I don't know. We're not supposed to lose, are we? I don't think so. Right?
Hold up, then we- what the hell does the field do? Or do, sorry, hold up. Alright, I'm dumb. So, the, uh, Turlex speed- or speed? Seed, however the hell you pronounce the thing. Um, that, and with it being on the one field, I guess it allows it just to have, like, laser eyes, so it pretty much is going to crit pretty much every turn. Fun. Okay, so... With that being the case, then, I'm gonna have to think up a whole new team, so... Wait. Not again. See, wait. No, let me guess. The quag is gone, right? Yeah, this is what I was saying earlier. Yeah, my quag, sire, it, it's gone. Like, remember how I had two? Yeah, it's gone. What the piss? That is, like, one of the dumbest bugs ever like I, and i don't even know how it would do that that's so weird i mean like he stayed but piss dude um give me a moment to think of a new idea then i didn't really anticipate that being the case with the hitmonlee so let me redo the team give me a moment all right i'm gonna unpause now because i had to get a few games that it didn't flinch me again it kind of sucks with like I mean, like, I, I went on this rant before, and I'm not going to do it again, but, like, it's one of those situations that it's, like, I, I'm not going to play a game that I just get flinched when I know I can take out the Weavile with the Hitmonlee, so I think you guys understand, so, um, yeah. And I have decided to switch out Hershey for Shuppet. I feel like a Ghost-type is the right answer for the Hitmonlee, and with us having Cursed Body, we can definitely... Do some stuff with this so let's do that i'm gonna will o wisp again okay i like that a lot i can sucker but i might go for a um sd or sword stance if if you don't know sorry um i'm gonna knock off and just play it safe okay i'm fine with that i'd rather do that than like sd up and just sweep me or something so Okay. I don't really want to go into Volkner just yet. I'm going to go into Sanders. This is kind of risky. What's the rest of his team again before I... And I don't even know if I want to bulk up. I might. Absol, him on Lee, but that's like around half and burn. Dragonair, Typhlosion, I gotta remember that guy, and Zepto. I think I'm safe to bulk up. And of course he gets a crit too. Alright, get out of here. Okay. Oh, so the, do they all have the seed just to just flinch you? That is really annoying. Okay. Probably should have honestly bulked up again to sweep. I think I made a mistake. I could have done it twice actually. Yeah, I actually, I, now that I think about it, I should have done it twice, because I could have swept from there. Yeah, I actually could have done that. I don't know why I didn't. Because... counter. Ah, uh, we should have level one. That's okay. We probably weren't going to live anyways, I don't even know why I said that. Uh, we can go into Volkner, lower, lower its attack. Uh, next time, though... Though, sorry, that means that I can, um, SD twice, um, and sweep from there. Okay. But that's even if I get the, uh, burn damage. Um, that's a whole nother matter. Recover. Of course we have flinched. Oh, thank god. Actually, we, we might be able to pull through. Dude, stop flinching. It's like really annoying. I have to have full health though. That's the issue. Okay. Yawn. Okay. Please don't wake up. Okay, thank god. I should live any hit. Even if it's a crit, I should live. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. Okay, I, I feel like I got extremely lucky there. Uh, thankfully, I didn't decide to restart the game. Um... But, 
It honestly took more tries than I really wanted it to. I think it took me like maybe like eight or nine probably. But again, it's like it's like I said before, and something that I would advise the players. I mean, you can play it out if you want to, just to see where it ends up. Because who knows? Like even if like the flinch on the Hitmon, or sorry, uh, the flinch on the um, Hariyama. Um, I, I personally think it does matter and you need to have the Weavile out with Hariyama. Um, but I guess I could have played it out just to see how it goes. But Or if you have a different team, I guess you could try it out and see how far you can get. And in a sense, you kind of learn like what to do for the battle in a sense. If I, I feel like I'm rambling on nonsense, but I, I think you get the point. But... Um, I feel like I kind of got lucky there, but again, like, if you get flinched or crit or anything like that, I mean, you could still play it out for a little bit, but if you just feel like there's just no chance of winning, just restart the game. It's all good. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't going to play a game that um, it's going to do that. Now, the concept of him just critting you all the time is very annoying, but as you can see, you can work around it and you can get past it, so... This battle really wasn't that bad, to be honest, um, but it's definitely something that can catch you off guard, so um, be wary of that. I never stood a chance, did I? My flames felt terrible, right? Good. Y'all didn't even help. Wait a minute. Big bro moment. What a waste of time. Not so confident anymore, huh? Should have known it wasn't e it wasn't e his. It wasn't so easy to take us out. First of all, I, again, I did the battle. Y'all didn't do anything. Uh, you're done, Zeta. Stand aside and resign. You all would like that, wouldn't you? Sorry, but I think my right is here. Giratina, can you catch me? We'll just have to see. Don't let them get away. I, I don't have a way to cross the water yet, so I guess I'm stuck here. Can we take her with us? No, it's still the same thing, okay? Uh, darn it, I, I'm so useless here. I'm sorry, Arrow. I'll do better next time. Okay. Stop messing around. Messing around, give me a break. I'm just here for some quality time. Besides, turns out we didn't exactly pick the best spot, the best place to hold a negotiation, sorry. What are you talking about? Valor Mountain is a sacred place, and as such, there are certain quirks that prevent us from traveling through the mountain. Uh, sorry for the pause there. Uh, between those three relics and all the magma, it wasn't that easy. Relics? That must be new. Uh, but we made it through, and we're all waiting for a certain girl to show her face. And how am I supposed to do that? You have Hoppy, don't you? You could just fly on over here now and we could all and this could all be done or i read that wrong but that's okay uh but you don't want to do that because you don't want to do it alone you know you have no chance against all of us so you're dragging your friends into this you're wrong look it's totally fine i get it anyway if you want to go through the whole route of dragging your friends we'll have to go through some hoops first the top of the mountain is surrounded by a thick layer of smoke. Try Trying to fly through it will have you unconscious before you even get close to the top. The only way is to go through the side, go through the inside, and to do that, you'll have to collect three keys. What? This is new. Three keys, okay. Sorry, that's just kind of interesting. Weird. Uh, the vast majority of the mountain is hidden is his is hidden behind a security system to get past it three keys must be obtained and presented luckily for you all big bro zeta found all three keys inside of the mountain i've taken each one of them and scattered them across the island so it's kind of interesting. So I guess that's Amber there. That's um, where Angie is. Okay. Don't you just love me for being so helpful? 
So you're going to make us run around looking for these keys, why? Because you're not- because we're not miracle workers, we need prep time too. Oh, just so you're aware, the mountain is filled with magma, so I'd- I'd find a cross- Find a way to cross magma safely before you decide to pop your head in. You guys are cowards. Call us whatever you like, by the way. You guys sort of forgot something. Forgot something? Oh, nothing. But I feel like it's a little irresponsible of you guys to leave a ship full of refugees unattended while there are bad guys like me running around. Catch my drift. Oh my, the shore. Val, wait for us. Zeta, you monster. This isn't over. We'll be back. We'll be waiting and this time we'll settle the score. Oh, and I know we're making you guys busy and all, but don't take too long. We may get bored and have a little accident with Nim. We screwed up. We shouldn't have left the shore unintended. We need to get back and make sure everyone is okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's all different up there. Also, what the hell is the Garatina doing? Interesting. Anyways. Ah, uh, what a beast. Garrus captured it, but Garatina still acts on its own accord. Just because you captured doesn't mean you're compliant. I would know firsthand. What was that last comment? That is the legendary Pokemon Garatina. Do you think a mere Pokeball could stop it from doing whatever it wants? It's only here because it believes that there's a mutual benefit. Or perhaps it wants you to repay its debt to Gira for freeing it. Either way, I don't expect it to stick around for too long. Well, aren't you just fascinating professor? So studious and intelligent. But that's what I would expect from someone who is a professor. If you know everything then professor, then tell me. Is any of this truly worth it? Are we doing the right thing? You should know that answer more than any of us. Is any of this worth the turmoil we put people through? What do you think? Malia was right. You are a monster. So you heard the whole thing then. You should be more careful. One may find it easy to plant a microphone on you or something. You planted a mic on me for what? Perhaps I want it or need it and it's sensitive to push you off this cliff when you get back up. When you got back up, sorry. You said some terrible things to Malia, but I believe it'll make her stronger. You better watch your mouth, Jenner. You know very well that you're on thin ice already, so don't make me report you to Gira. And answer me this, if I'm a monster, then what then, then what does that make you? Don't you dare take the liberty to judge me after what you've done, after what you put your own daughter through. Oh Zeta, I'm just like you, a monster, but we're monsters in different ways, aren't we? Aren't we, Zeta? Don't you judge me, Professor Jenner. Big oof. Braxton. Oh, so there's actually like people like knocked out here. So this is kind of new. Uh, anyway, sorry. Aero Malia. Braxton, are you alright? What's going on? Everyone is... Some things are attacking the shore and the ship. Valerie and Adam are on the ship defending it, but there are still some on the beach still. Things? What are you talking about? I sense another one. Look out. Oof. These things? They're Deoxys? No, they're clones. Deo or decoys Deoxys? Sorry, I read that wrong. And they can multiply. Era, we have no choice but to fight. Let's take these two out. Big oof. Okay. Oh, so it's not even a double battle. Nice. Okay, knock off. Okay. These guys are tough, but one or two attacks take them down pretty easily. It depends on their form. I've seen a couple of defensive ones too, and they take forever to destroy. But it's no use no matter how many times you destroy them, they just keep showing up. More and more and more and never ends. Perhaps the source must be destroyed for the rest to disappear, but is the source even here with us? Braxton, first and foremost, are you hurt? I was pretty banged up, but I'm fine now, thanks. Good, where are the others? Um, protecting the docks and the ship. The people knocked out on the shore here were the first wave of defenders. I was fighting with them, but as you could see, it didn't, it didn't end well for us. That's fine, we'll heal them up and make sure they are fit as a fiddle. 
Oh, Nurse Joy? Nurse Joy of Akua Town reporting for duty? I don't think there was a Nurse Joy on the ship, was there? I don't think so. Or maybe they just came from Akua? I'm looking too far into it. Uh, the Nurse of Joy of Akua Town... No, I read that right. I'm sorry. Uh, the Nurse Joy of Akua Town reporting for duty. Wherever there's sadness, Joy is right around the corner. Please do not worry about the people here on the beach. Blissey and I will take care of this. Thank you so much, Nurse Joy. No problem. It's my job after all. Let's head back to the docks. The others may need our help. Right? Let's go. So, what if we get to go, or what if we went this way? Oh. Oh. Well, poor Valerie. So they just don't even let you do anything. Okay. Actually, can we surf around? Don't we have Quag with us? I guess you're not allowed to surf weird okay i guess he can't go around the helper i guess we'll do that at some given point okay real quick nothing is okay we're all still 45 uh there you guys are i thought it was over for us no matter how many you take out they just appear again and again we don't have a choice more people will get hurt if we don't fight don't you think I know that? Where is Valerie? I thought she was with you, Braxton. Huh? I thought she was with you. No, she isn't. She went to go defend the Shore Ranger Center, but that was a while ago and I haven't heard anything in a while. In that case, Arrow and I will head towards the shore and see if we can meet up with Val. Better make it fast. I'm worried. Yeah, we got it. Uh, this storm is messing with my firepower literally, so I'm going to stay at the docks and help out. Arrow, please be careful. Okay. I guess we're not going to do the Ren battle and all that this episode. Probably next episode then. I'm sure most wouldn't really mind that anyways. I don't know what it is. Like, I always keep thinking, like, we have enough time to, like, get, like, really far in one episode. But then... As you get to the episode, I, I slowly start to realize, okay, we're not going to do Ren this episode. Or at least battle him at, um, in this episode itself. We'll have to do that next episode. Uh, but, again, that's okay. Val, are you okay? Huh. Oh. A classic bait have quillfish hide in the sand and they approach fell stinger. But as impressive as that may be, Quillfish is actually my last active Pokemon. Oof. It's not over yet. When will it end? I can't take much more of this. We have to keep going. I won't let you guys fight alone. We're all a team. We fight together. We fall together. We heal together. Leave it to Braxton to be overly sappy. Or sappy, sorry. But she's right, I guess. Everyone. Let's give it our all. We've got it. Come on, fight. Ooh. So, Sira looks different. Kinda? Kinda different. It's fascinating and quite pitiful to watch them struggle, isn't it? Almost as if they truly believe they have a chance of changing anything. I must admit, I do experience great pleasure in watching them scramble around. Sira? Yes, Lady Angie. Observe them. I wish to learn more about them. Yes, Lady Angie, your wish is my command. You all show me what you truly are capable of. And that's what happened, we don't know what to do from here. Hmm. If you have any guidance at all, it would be very much appreciated. Zeta is right about the keys, although we call them the relics. The relics. What? So... <laughs> what? I guess those are people? And I guess a lot of the story has somewhat changed 
a little bit. That's actually really cool. I kind of like it. Uh, actually, real quick, is it raining outside? If it is, I'm sorry. What does that sound? No, it's going to be raining like any minute though. Because we're going to be getting some storms, so you might kind of hear some background noise. Which actually works out because I'm going to be ending off the video soonish anyway, so it works out. Anyway, sorry. Uh, long ago, before Terra Juma, the land around Valor Mountain was treacherous. When living in the open became too dangerous, the people of Valor would retreat within the mountain for shelter. Because of this, these people revered the mountain as a god. Day and night, they would pray to their god for protection, and one day the mountain answered. What? So I wonder what, like, the god of the mountain is. Probably some legendary Pokemon, maybe? I don't know, maybe Heatran? Or maybe it literally is like a god, like, um, uh, what's, what's her name, Kaya? Or, well, I don't know if she's really a god, but the gods gave her power to, like, be up there, but if, like, her hair gets cut or whatever, she loses her power and I think dies or something? Something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Um, but I wonder if it's, like, like a person similar to, like, that story. Not sure. Uh, anyways, uh, the relics said to be formed from the bodies of the beast of the sky, ocean, and earth fell upon the people of Valor. Should they ever need to seek shelter, they would present the sigils to the sacred alt. Let me write that down. Hold up. Uh, what does it say? Beast of what? What the hell did it say? Like water, land. And what did it say? Sky? So what? Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, probably? But Groudon's down at the one area, not here. Right? Or does it talk about different legends? I mean, Kyogre is in Valor Mountain. Um, but it said Sigils, that was the interesting word, because they called that Sigils as well in Black Steeple, so that's new. Sorry, that kind of caught my eye for a moment. I just want to make a, a note on that. Uh, they would rep, or they would present these Sigils to the Sacred Altar in the Mount, in the, in Valor Mountain, sorry. Only then will they be safe from the danger, the dangers of the outside world. Wait, did I skip something? I don't think I did. If I did, sorry. Anyways, uh, while we don't necessarily revere Valor Mountain as a god anymore, we do like to keep the legend alive through, through tradition. Trainers go through a coming of age trial on Terrajuma when they begin their Pokemon journey. Trainers would travel through Terrajuma, gather the relics, and present it to Valor Mountain. So basically going through this trial ourselves then, I suppose. That aside, Zeta mentioned that we would need a way to travel over magma safely. Is there any way we could accomplish this as a group? There was a team called Magma Drift that we used to use, but due to the nature of the mountain, this became obsolete. Unfortunately, this TM is no longer in production. There may be one way to get it though. There is a retro TM shop in Crystalline Town, but again, Angie. It's sounding like we don't have a choice though. Alright, it's settled then. We'll travel through Terrajuma in search of the relics and that TM shop. One issue though, we need to think about the people of the shore. They may get attacked again, and if we don't get there in time, I'll stay behind. Adam, are you sure about this? I'm the strongest one here without a doubt. If I'm there at full force, I could probably hold out on my own. Probably isn't that great. I suppose I'll stay behind too. I'm far too weak to keep on like this. While I may not be able to take on an entire Deoxys army, I'll be able to clean up what Adam can't. Sounds like a plan to me. No objections here. One last thing, you guys. If somehow things don't work out, I may have an alternate option. Deep below this HQ is a passageway that leads into the mountain. 
uh, going in through this way does not require you to pass magma to enter but this door has been shut since we found it down there and even if we open it you'll still have to deal with magma inside of the mountain wait found it you mean you guys didn't install it we did not it's quite bizarre we all should worry about this in the morning though it's been a long day i'll have my rangers work at the opening at opening the door while also locating these relics where these relics have sh uh not shattered scattered too sorry uh feel free to stay here the night once again yeah thanks crawley will take you up on that offer let's get some sleep you guys what oh Oh, it seems Venom is here. Will you shut off that music? It's deafening. No, this is my favorite song. You'll just have to deal with it. That's it. I'm turning it off myself. Touch it and the hand comes off. Wow, that fight with the Deoxys must have really put you out of commission. You slept the whole day away and now it's nighttime again. Having Have fun fixing your sleep schedule. By the way, I just wanted to ask, how are you doing? Oh, uh, that probably requires the friendship thing. Hold up. Okay, so I'm alright is plus two. Could be worse is plus one. Terrible is neutral. Let's go if I'm alright. Since it gives you the most. Oh, uh, that's good. Your morale is strong. I really admire that about you. By the way, I was doing more research last night and I found out something a little more troubling. Turns out Magma Drift requires seven badges for it to work effectively. Crawley said that new trainers would travel with a chaperone to deal with magma in the Valor Mountain, but with everyone going on with Angie, the task force power has been focused on that solely, sorry. Uh, so we're on our own. Well, that sucks. Can we ask again? Uh, let's see if that influenced anything. Uh, so we're on our own is plus one. Well, that sucks is neutral. Can we ask again plus two? I guess, can we ask again then? I've tried a few times myself, Crawley won't budge, but I don't blame him. He's got enough problems to deal with as of late. Anyway, I was wondering if you were interested in battling Crawley for a badge. That would be... That would bring your total up to six badges. You just need one more to successfully use Magma Drift. I can fly on Happy and Valerie can carry Alita, but... Yikes, that scared a few years off my soul. This song, I only know one person who could play this song. It can't be Arrow, let's go next door. Actually, so do we do the Ren thing after we do Crawley's Gym? If that's the case, I would prefer that a lot because that means I could do the Gym next episode instead of that, which I mean... I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Wait, what room? Oh, this one, right? Sorry. Um, but, I don't know, it'd be kind of nice to just get that battle out of the way and then continue on with the story for a little while until the next, um, stupid battle arrives, which... I don't think Ren's gonna be terribly difficult. It'll probably take me a few tries. Um, but I know Angie's gonna be arriving soon, so... That's going to be a fun one. Anyways, you know you shouldn't be playing music so loud like this in public, in a public place, sorry. And you shouldn't be walking in people's room without permission. What's up with you? Maybe next time you should make comebacks to my face. That are really, that would really show how witty you are. Gosh darn, what's your problem, dude? What, what wait, Malia? But, but I thought, I thought... Just be quiet and hug me, you idiot. Okay. So all that really happened? Darn, you two went through a lot. Yeah, now we have to look for those relics and travel to Crystalline Town. It'll all become... It's all become, become a... Piss. I've been doing so well with reading at the beginning. Now it's just like, I can't read anymore. Let's try this again. It's all because one stressful headache for all of us. It's all become one stressful headache for all of us. Okay, let's just go with that. Alright, Era wants to battle Crawley for his badge as well. Darn, that sucks, but Crawley isn't here right now. He isn't. Oh. 
Because, okay, so we got to do the Ren thing and then next. Okay, that's fine. Um, Crawley isn't here right now. He isn't even on Terra Juma at the moment. Wait, or sorry, what? Crawley isn't. Uh, finally found you. Oh, hi, Sam. We just wanted to let you know that we've located the lo- that we located the location of the Sky Relic. Really, where is it? Hula Metal, just west of the Weather Institute. It's ready for you guys to pick up whenever you're ready. You couldn't just bring it with you? Hey, tradition is tradition. It's how things are. By the way, that teleporter I mentioned to you is still broken. Could you come with us and check it out? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you there. Great. I'll get the others ready then. Venom, what was that about? God piss Venom. So she still kind of does that one thing from V12. Big bro moment. So you know those guys who worked on the abandoned sewers? I heard they got a huge gig on Terajuma Island and they were going to get paid a ton. So I tricked them into thinking I was that I was an engineer and they brought me along. You what? I love how we're just like turning around, just not even paying attention. But now that we want... But now they want me to do actual engineering and a girl is stuck, you know. What did you expect? A paycheck. Anyway, you gotta... You gotta come help me out, please. Arrow, you'll help out too, right? <laughs> get me out. I have a relic to get A plus A equals B minus B plus 3. The hell does that mean? Um, get me out is plus 1 for Malia. But if I do the third one, it's plus 2 for Venom. Um... I don't know what to do. You know what? Let's go to Google. We're flipping a coin. Okay, so we are going to do heads for get me out and tails for the A plus A1. And it is heads. So we're going to go with get me out. Oh, sorry for hitting the mic. Uh, Arrow is busy with um, getting the sky relic. Yeah, isn't that right, Arrow? Guess I'll just have to settle for you then, Malia. What do you mean, settle? I really should just leave you to burn here, but I am willing to help. Cool, thanks. We should get going before I get fired. When this job is done, you're giving the workers 90% of your pay. Hell no. 50. 95. 60. 99. Gosh darn it. Fine. 90%. Will you just come help me already? Fine. Cool. Big oof. Okay, so let's save here. And... This place has a lot of weird books I've never, I never even seen before. Different place, different info. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's the, um... The Roar and Bee battle isn't there. Okay, so we're gonna do that next episode. We're gonna go through the Wasteland. I want to go through the gym battle, not the gym battle, but the gym puzzle next episode. And then the episode after that will be when we do the crawly battle. So, uh, yeah. All right. So oh, I forgot to pause. That's okay. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the plan. Also, just to give you guys a heads up for future reference, um, I may here and there, similar to the Valerie battle, um, well, the Valerie battle is a bad example because that I just had to leave because some friends were waiting to play some Dead by Daylight and, um, some other games with, uh, some internet friends, um, because my internet friends, they were kind of spamming me that one night. Well, not really spam, but you get the point. Anyways, um, for future... Um, gym battles and like boss battles I may end it off slightly more early so the next episode um, we could just focus on those battles I think that makes the most sense because like I feel like the one Valerie battle I feel like I should have ended it off before battling Valerie and then next episode we should have done that episode with that because then 
that one would have stayed more towards 50 minutes to an hour and plus kind of titling it uh, both as Valerie bruh can kind of confuse players like okay which one did he beat Valerie on so I want to make sure I try to keep everything on like one video instead of like two separate like that one time that I did it um, just in case if anybody got confused um, I feel like I'm wording it weird again but I, I think you get the point so yeah next episode most likely we should be able to get the Roar and B battle pretty quickly unless it takes quite a few tries I don't think it will but who knows um, we're gonna go to the wasteland battle rent that shouldn't be too hard um, come on back here there might be some new story stuff here but if not I want to go through the gym puzzle get that done and then next episode we will start off with Crawley hopefully that battle isn't gonna be too hard a few viewers told me that um, the battle isn't really that bad so we'll just have to see how it goes and plus Overall, we have a lot of good Pokemon uh, captured and all anyway, so I think we should be okay. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to also, before I head off, forgot to say this. I'm going to do all of this then. I'm going to get a Venusaur, level that guy up, EV train him, and um, just continue on with the next episode when we get there. Anyways, enough of me rambling on and being cringe. Thanks so much for watching, I definitely do appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next episode. Good morning.